Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Simokan here, bringing you some Hearts of Iron 3 with the Black Ice mod as France. We are the Baguettes. I was about 10 or 12 episodes ahead in my uh, People's Republic of China campaign, so I decided we're going to start a new campaign. So it is uh, January 1st, 1936, and the French army is in full retreat already. Yeah, I'm, I've strategically redeployed everybody back to Paris so I can organize this clusterfuck of an army. Also, I've, uh, let me click somebody here. I've edited the theater, so there's literally just one theater, so I can get rid of the, like, 12 different theater HQs that they freaking had, which was ridiculous. So that was nice. Uh, let's see, I also did all of our... Starting tech here. I'm going to make sure we focus on the important things like industry, agriculture, medicine, basic education, so we get all that the important things going. I also did all of our decisions except for the uh, seaport, railway, and road networks. But I set all of the difficulties to normal as usual because I think I'm not good enough to play out a harder one. Oh, okay, let's actually start the game off here. Oh, also, something to note, while the Great Depression is in effect, I literally don't have enough IC to even meet my consumer good demand right now, which is ridiculous. So that's a lot of fun. Also, I changed up our... Also, our government is ridiculously fractured. I mean, look at this shit. Um, I changed up our government a little bit. I changed out our chief of the army to this Leon Victor guy from Maurice Gamlin. Because just using less supplies right now is good. Also, I changed our head of intelligence from, I think it was this guy, to this guy. So we got some more IC, we got some industrial intel, and we got some construction practical decay. Dip, uh, decay is now less. Also, yay, by Great Depression. Popular Front Publications gain 10 descent. Whoa, what is this shit? Oh. Crap, I don't even have a choice in this. <laughs> it's just there. There we go. Bam. Do your worst. Uh, yeah. I'll we'll take revolts. Personality effects. Just please allow invasions. Yeah, because the AI would be retarded without... Oh, boy. So we're going to do this to consumer goods. Oh, actually, no. Everything into consumer goods until all of our descent is just gone because that's terrifying. But yay, we actually have some IC now, which is great. Trade offer from Egypt. We'd give them uh, some money for some metal. Absolutely. Yeah, what is our relations with you are good. Let's trade with the USSR because they got tons of stuff and we've got like zero relations with them. So we want to sell them. want to sell them supplies probably. Hey, we're now land power, so we got more organization regain rate, and we got more organization. We have low popularity, god damn it. Local military power, national manpower goes up, leadership goes up, all that good stuff. Alright, what kind of planes and stuff do we want? We want cast armor, because unfortunately the game's, where is it, yeah, we started out with cast armor. So, I guess we're going to stay away from welding. Um, actually, I don't think this matters. Well, actually, it might. I'm not sure. Air intercept. Armor build speed. Supply throughput. Air organization. Our heart attack goes down. Well, we don't really want that. Armor build speed. That's welded, though. Heart attack. Heart, uh, I think they all have. Yeah, they all have the minus heart attack. Oh, that's kind of crappy. Uh, this one wouldn't be bad, though. We got faster build speed for our tanks, so yeah, we'll go with that. Military light vehicles are cheaper than trucks that have better movement bonus and rough terrain. And gliders and a useful with special force. Sure. Activate. Uh, the Renault AGR. Military great trucks. Less attrition and better movement bonuses. Okay, sure. I will take those things. Also, the US... Or, I mean, the USSR. The, uh... British would like to buy fuel for me. Fuck yes, I will take it. Because I'm making tons of fuel. And I want money, so I took... Uh, one of the decisions I took was for our economic focus, and I did long-term investment so we could build uh, the fancy expensive buildings that cost 25,000 supplies and, like, what is it, 2,500 or 5,000 bucks. So we need the money. 
We need the money. Also, we got a lot of really crappy units. They're mostly like garrisons. Um, here in Africa, we don't have very many units. Um, actually, I don't think there's any down this part, which is fine. We got one guy over here. I think I'm just going to delete you. Get out of here. I don't need you. Got a few units down here in Madagascar. Is there anything even worth defending? Nope. <laughs> No, there is not. Um, I think instead of deleting these guys, though, I'm going to push them over up here. Well, actually, uh, I might put them up here so we can help out uh, the British once the war starts. There's some guys there. I deleted them already. Uh, I was going to go pick these guys up from Zanjiang here. Rigged elections. Oh, great. Uh, great, great, great. Basically, my government is a pile of shit, is what I'm getting from this. <clears throat> Can load it. Oh my god, these guys can't even. Well, alright, fuck these guys then. Bye. <laughs> I don't care that much. Alright, I'm gonna send you guys over to Brest here. Basically, I'm sending all of my navies here to Brest. And every all of our air units are going to Paris. All of our infantry are going to Paris. So, yeah. Okay. Descent's coming down. It's good. Once it gets to zero. Oh, man. That consumer good need is still ridiculously high, though. We're not going to be doing much of anything. All of our points are going to be going into freaking upgrades for a while because we're so far behind on upgrades. Let's see what does Switzerland want. Uh, they want to sell us energy, absolutely. Yugoslavia wants to sell us energy. Um, sure. Oh, uh, yeah, we gotta we gotta get our descent down, or we're gonna keep getting events like this. So we just lost a thousand fuel. Just sucky. Oh, damn it! UK just broke our trade agreement. Sure, I'll take your energy. I will take your energy. And I'll take your metal. Absolutely. No. Oh, buy our fuel again, you little bastards. Ugh. Uh hmm. Hey, Germany, you wanna buy my fuel? <laughs> oh oh yeah, they're totally down. There we go, Germany buys fuel from us. They declined. It said very likely. What? Uh, how about you, Poland? You want to buy some fuel? Very likely. Possible. Very likely. All right, so we're going to get that going. Hey, Italy, you want to buy some fuel? Hell yeah, they do. South Africa. Like to sell us metal? Sure. Um, I'll buy metal from you, Australia. Hey, Sweden, you want to buy some fuel? Very likely, all right. How about the Spanish Republic? You guys want to buy some stuff? Actually, I'm hoping that the Spanish state wins so I can declare war on them. <laughs> so there we go. We should be making some decent amount of money. Yep, 92 a day at the expense of some of our fuel, which I really don't care about. Oh yeah, what are you gonna do with our spies? Counter, and spies. That and raise freaking national, oh yeah, we started off with uh, 34 national unity, so that was great. Yeah, so hopefully we're gonna fix that soon. Actually, our units are moving pretty fast, which is nice. Yes, they're mo they're moving a lot quicker than our units in China would get around. I think it's mostly just because of the terrain. It's mostly just you know plains, forests, few hills here and there. Actually, let's go to the terrain map mode. Yeah, it's mostly just plains, which is nice. I think it probably speed the game up even more. We got a lot of stuff to do before the war breaks out. Uh, 
Ah, oh, they did it again, those bastards. Stop stealing my fuel, you little shitbags. I'm, I'm working on our descent. I'm working on it, alright? I think it's over five that you start having the problems, but I think I'm just gonna let it burn down to zero anyways. Let's see, technology what? Ooh, we got a lot more leadership now, which is great. Oh yeah, we're doing almost every single thing. I wanna keep, unlike poor China, I actually wanna kinda keep up on our plane and tech and whatnot. I don't care about salt gliders. Machine gun focus. <clears throat> oh wait, that's ahead of time. We don't want to do that. Tag fighter, tag bomber, bomb load. Let's work on our bombs there. Tail hook. Tag or oh yeah, let's work on that shit. We don't have tail hooks yet. Come on. Control pitch. Avionics. Okay. Submarines. So yeah, I think ooh, with France here, we're not gonna work. Actually, you know, we're not gonna worry about our ships too much, honestly. I wanna make sure we get everything else sorted out before I start worrying about that. Brigade HQ, definitely do that. Had a time, had a time, had a time. Yeah, I went through the. I went through the text a little bit, but still got a bunch of work to do here. Fighter pilot training, ground crew. Definitely want to keep up with our fighters, though, probably. That's for sure. I don't really care about the rest of our planes. I just want to be able to shoot down German bombers. <laughs> also, I think one of our plans here is we're going to try to extend the Maginot line all the way along the border with Belgium here. That will be our, our goal. We want to stop them, stop them German bastards dead in the water. Don't want any surprises. Oh, what the hell, Yugoslavia, bastards! Definitely want to make. Sh oh, actually. Let us buy. Nope. That's right. I remember you gotta uh, sell low, buy high <laughs> in this game. <laughs> Just hilarious, but whatever. So we wanna, wanna sell to America here. You guys wanna buy? Yeah. Make sure we're making those. Fat ducats there. What else could we sell? Sell some oil, I guess. But fuel, definitely we need to sell fuel. Hey Canada, you wanna buy some fuel from me, bro? Very light, oh, no, they'll sell me if they don't wanna buy any, damn. Hey Brazil, you wanna buy some fuel? Very likely, all right. Netherlands, you guys want to buy some fuel? Nope. <clears throat> All right, so our neutrality is 88%. But, I mean, we're already in the faction, so that's fine. Trade offer from Venezuela. All right, there we go. Oh, I wonder, do we need any more convoys? Um, Actually, we've got a lot of convoy escorts. That's pretty nice. Well, looks like for now... We have enough available, so that's fine. Yeah, I actually, there was a bunch of ships on the queue, too. I removed all of those except for these, uh, this uh, submarine flotilla, because it was, you know, more than half done. Everything else I took off, though. I'm going to sort all this shit out. All right, so first things first, let's start separating out our HQ units here. Also, after this episode, I'll probably skip ahead a little bit. 
so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me just organizing my army and whatnot the entire playthrough. I'm gonna I'll skip the I'll skip a lot of the boring shit for you guys. Let's see. Two three four. Now like right now we've got way too many army level HQs. It's ridiculous. <laughs> we do not need at least six of these. Seven. We got eight. We've got eight. Yeah, like we don't need all those. Come on. Yeah, I'll just move you guys normally. Now let's start doing our core HQs. Yeah, super exciting things going on right now. I probably should have just done all of this off camera and then started, but I wanted to start at January 1st, just so you guys could get an idea what my plans were and what we were doing. Also, I could totally edit this stuff out, but I'm way too lazy to do that. Editing, too much effort. Somehow I missed some of you guys. Oh, actually, I missed a lot of you guys, apparently. All right, so we got all those guys moving. Um, we got you still too. I'll move you over there. Our descent is going down nicely. All right. Politics. Social Democrats, social liberals. Yeah, our, our poor government's not doing so hot right now. <clears throat> Abyssinia, what did you want? Give them rare materials, sure. I'll sell you guys some rare materials. How are you guys doing anyways? I sent I sent some troops down there to help them out. So once that war is over, we'll get ourselves some veterans, which will be nice. So yeah, we got tons and tons of units here. Province lost, what? I just had an uprising? What? <laughs> what is this shit? Ooh, go deal with this. You go strategically redeploy your ass over there. Here, you guys can go help too, just in case they decide to go another direction. <laughs> Can't believe that, we just had an uprising. Well, I guess our, nah, our unity is super low and... Oh yeah, look at this 20% revolt risk. What? <laughs> I mean, this country's a mess. <sighs> Where's Napoleon when you need him? <laughs> Let's see, our units, uh, well, they got engineers already, which is nice. Infantry, artillery, motorized recon, truck transport. Hmm, they're not too terrible looking off... Uh, Offhand here. Garrison units, the heavy artillery are going back on the Maginot line. That's for sure. Oh. Forgot I had the game on speed four, so things actually move quickly around here. Oh god, what a waste. I see. Yes. Alright, there we go. So. Fucking upgrades go. <laughs> Basically. Oh, wait. Actually, no. Okay, let's make sure everything gets reinforced here, and then upgrades go. All our ships here yet? Looks like most of them have arrived. So that's nice. I think I want to delete this coastal submarine, because fuck that thing. Get rid of that trashy piece of crap. Bye. I think that was the only coastal submarine we had. Yep. <clears throat> now, of course, we've got a lot of... Uh, actually, how old are these ships? Suffering class? Algeri class? Like, I don't know. I don't know French ships at all, so I don't know. Like, let's see, two... 
Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how outdated these things are, to be honest with you. So that'll be interesting to see. Oh, actually, maybe. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's do some more research here. 1936, 1935, 1935, 1936. Um, actually, these ships don't look that old. Um, 1918. Okay, these are a little old, old, not old, new, old, old. All right, so some of the some of the ships are old, but mostly they seem pretty decent. Also, why are you guys out of supplies? Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? You guys just ran out of supplies? <clears throat> what? What is this nonsense? All right, so we're done reinforcing. So we're gonna start upgrading everything. Liberia. Okay, wants me to give them crude oil. All right, that's acceptable. Let's take these fuckers out. Oh, that's right, I forgot you guys don't move very fast, do you? Oh yeah, there's me, yay. I ended up being like a doctor, so we got uh, trickle back, so we got a yeah, casualty trickle back, which is nice. But, all right, now let's start sorting out our army here. Yeah, I still have four. Uh, feeder level commands. Uh, I got like one here, one there, one over here, and then we got one way over here. <clears throat> I think we might pare these down even more soon, but for now that's fine. I don't know what kind of range that the uh, uh, that the army group HQs have, so we'll see. Why is there actually? Hang on. There's actual, like, units in these HQs, which kind of throw me off here. Like, any aircraft's fine. Me being in here is not fine, though. Let's take me out and put me there. Yeah, so, off camera, I'm going to be doing lots and lots of organization here, so. But, we'll start it off a little bit while we're here. Um, also, I'm kind of... Oh, oh, here we go. We can. Oh, we do have enough money. We have enough money now that we can take one of these things. So, let's check out the strategic uh, effects of those four things we could build. So, which one do we want the most? Let's see where are these things down here? I think. All right. So here we go. National highways. They give us IC efficiency and supply throughput. Mining gives us a national manpower malice and an IC malice, but gives us more energy, crude oil, and metal. Railroad Tycoon gives us more IC efficiency and supply throughput, and then Agricultural Industry gives us more national manpower. Well, right now, what would be the most important thing to us? Uh, probably the high. Let's see, do we want the highways? Oh, actually, you know what? I always take Railroad Tycoon first because it's just straight up better. Yeah, let's take Railroad Tycoon first then. All right, so oh, where am I going? That's what I wanted. So yeah, Railroad Tycoon is a go. Costs us 5,000 metal too, which is fine. Also, do we want to do our road network? Yeah, let's do all of these too. Let's get them all done at once. <laughs> our, our IC is probably gonna drop like a stone. Oh, Germany has reoccupied the Rhineland. Tisk tisk, those dirty bad, yeah, our IC dropped a lot actually. Not good. Say so they want rare materials, they're gonna give us money, absolutely. Hmm. Should probably worry about our supplies now though. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, they died right away. How horrible for them. Yeah, look at this shit. Infantry trade what what is this? What the hell is this? That is bizarre as fuck. This is gonna be interesting reorganizing this army, let me tell you. Um, actually, do I even care about you guys being here? Oh, actually, no. Not really. Full intel, what does that mean? Oh, they all say nine, Never mind. Oh, okay. 
So, I mean, it is an air base and stuff. Um, but do we really care about it? Ah, you know what? Fuck it. They can stay there. It's fine. Here, let me attach you to these guys down here. Actually, National Unity is still trash. Albert uh, Surratt, president of the council. Places uh, Pierre Lavelle trying to sort out this mess of a, in the country. All right, cool. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Yay, we got more descent again. Ah, uh, uh, great. All right, so yeah, we're going to work on that. Actually, no, I'm going to take even points out of our production. Like, I don't care about a submarine right now. Trade offer from Canada. They want to sell us few or sell us stuff, All right? Energy. Sure, we'll take everybody's energy. Thank you. Belgium. Give me metal. Absolutely. More metal. A tougher Japan. If you aren't finding the island hopping campaign to be challenging enough, consider boost to Japan a bit. Things get underway. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> I don't really care. <laughs> Slightly tougher Japan doesn't mean anything to me. All right, guys. Anyways, I think that's gonna have to do it for our first episode here. We will make the baguette great again, but yeah, I'm probably not going to do... Episode 2 is probably going to skip forward quite a bit while I reorganize all of this nonsense. So I will see you guys again in the next episode. Please uh, like, subscribe, give me your comments and feedback down below. Tell me how I can defend myself against the German onslaught. I would appreciate that. All right, bye guys.